Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to a 62 degree um, Friday, the 11th of August. Man, this first morning and a few mornings, it's just blue skies. No clouds, no nothing. It's just gorgeous. Nice and peaceful and quiet as always out here in the countryside. But <laughs> go from the peace to the frightening freeways of the United States. <laughs> Gotta take that trip down south. But uh, anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. I'm hoping for the best. Got a little special thing they're celebrating. There's three of us that has been with uh, Hanna Corp. I've been with Longview Motorsports Pro Caliber for 23 years and there's two other people that's been there longer than me. And, um, but we merged with the Hannas and a store they bought. They're an auto group. They bought a motorcycle, um, store that's called Pro Caliber. We merged Longview Motorsports and Pro Caliber together. And that was in 2003. So this is the Hannas version of my 20 years, not with the whole business. You get what I mean? It starts with the new company name, I guess. <laughs> But anyway, we're celebrating that today. Definitely bright sunshine today. Not the person using the stall as a parking spot. This guy's a kid with him, so he's teaching him some uh, good habits in life. Sunny in 72. <laughs> I see they got caterers dropping stuff off. It's gonna be a big hoorah rah Good Lord, and I'm one of the three people it's part of the celebration thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not big on being in the spotlight. <laughs> all the all the owners and all the big wigs will be here today. Cool. Yeah, but it's Friday. Yep. That's a good thing. Yes. The weekend's upon us. Next mm -hmm. weekend's gonna be a big weekend. We go see what the 2024 Can-Am Unroad is gonna be like. Hopefully they'll have those electric bikes on display. Aren't those supposed to be released in 24? I think so, but I'm not positive. They probably won't have them, have them with the spider stuff, though. No. Do it on? Yes. Let's go bust out a Friday. Sounds like a plan. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. Love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. But, uh, you know, how we ended off last night with finding the uh, tumbler set. And uh, the bell, I need to put the bell on. I did last night. I went in here and put my little, I think I got that at an auto parts store somewhere. But um, so I got that on. I've got a couple of tender leads that I can rig up my output power thing for. She's doing her thing over there as they do. So Kelly and I tore this place apart I can't find the last GSA extra, uh, the the keys or whatever you call them. What's that? Oh, it's got a spring hanging out of it. Well, that's not good. Look at that one right there. See that? That's sketchy. Oh, it probably happened when I was trying to get the tumblers out. I don't know. But anyway. I found them for the 2020 demo. Yeah, it's so weird about dates. That's the date that I set up the locks. And there's the, the keys that I came up with. But anyway, I hope between what's in there and what's left out of that old 2020 demo, I think the 2020 demo is the one that the tumblers that were set like this and they're sitting in a box inside the BMW toolbox. That still just completely irks me. Them, them tumblers would have done no good to nobody. I, I just don't know. Maybe, I think Kurt was there at the time. Maybe he thought they were just junk and threw them away one day. I, I don't know. If I seen something like that in a box, I wouldn't throw them away. But, uh, yeah, this is like $300 worth of stuff here. So, anyway, I'm going to... Oh, I need the key. <laughs> I'm going to set one of them up and see see what uh, 
little keys I'm going to need. And hopefully there could be a mix up of the ones already in there that might work for this. You got to figure out what they are first. And, um, and what I have missing from here, hopefully I have in here, I, I should be able to. There's a lot of them in there. But uh, if there's like a whole bunch of ones or a whole bunch of twos or threes or whatever, um, I may run out of one or the other. You never know. But let's see what we can conjure up here. Made my little box out of a um, Scott shop towel box and an axial box. And I dug up the um, clip that holds my um, SW Motac tank bag. I found the tank bag. I know where that's at. I'm still wondering why I, what those screws were for. Why I have those laying there separate. But I've got the obviously the ones I used for it in the bag still. You can see the bits of Loctite and the little spacers that you need. That thing's been on, what, three of them, four of them? I don't know. Been on there quite a while. I might even put that on the original 2017. But, uh, yeah, the bag is all basically sitting there like it was when uh when i took it off the last bike I'm good at saving stuff but i'm like a squirrel i save my little nuts and i can never find them again it's a bad deal i don't think i'm going to use that towel that towel is too clean that's a drying towel i got an old yellow one over there it's pretty dirty maybe i can find something else because a little grease on that towel would be a mess. But I got some stuff you can spray on there and make it go away. But anyway, let's conjure something up here. So if I'm really lucky, I don't. I don't even know this. This literally has nothing to do with anything. Um, this one was set up as looking at the chart. It was three, one, two. The new keys. Is one one two, and then the top is two two one. So I have I have two twos, and um, and two ones. So I need an extra one and an extra two to build each one. So here's my template, and that's that's what it works out to be. Good Lord, do I like to make work for myself. I, the unused ones, are in individual bags. <laughs> Lord help me. So I got to dig each bag. So I have the the top one set. This is a, you know, the two, two, one. And then I need another one and another two. And uh, each bag, hopefully each bag has a one and a two in it. And these... Uh, threes yeah these had threes in them so i'll just swap these things out there we are perfect build when it's perfect you have no no keys sticking you have no keys sticking out or going too short either way you know it needs to be perfect bore going in and then the one over on this side you can see the see the spring i think you can see that it's still stuck in that one that's where that lock tab that's where the the tumbler goes in and uh that one as you can see doesn't have a stopper so it just springs all the way out and is in a lock groove within the lock i just need to build seven more of those but the key is to have a key so you're not doing every one individual. Just scratch it down. I'll keep notes of this for a future reference. I'll stick it in the bag. And um, we'll go from there. I'll throw the old note or I'll just put an X in it. And uh, this will be the new note. So I'll know what this bag was from these locks. And hopefully the next bike we can, we can do this again. <laughs> this should between, like I say, what's in those already and the kit from the 2020 model, um, I should be able to do another one later. Have bags on them. The worst thing is you ought to see how dirty those bags are. That's crazy that uh, they got that bad sitting there 
just just junk in the in the shop. Dogs come in here. We come home at night. The doors open. Our dogs all run through the shop, and they're all excited as they are. And there we are. Maybe we'll grab one of the bags and toss one of these in. Just initialize the first one. Initiate the first one or whatever. Here we go. So you, you see this little raised area? And that's denoted in my little chart. That raised area, you gotta look at your lock hole that it's going in, and there's four of these posts or ridges that run through there. And that one goes into that into that slot there. So the key can only turn just in that area because that that thick part of the tumbler has to be moving in the free space of that one short little slider there or post or whatever so you need to make sure that you put that thing in there right and what i do is i because this this lock one is just going to try to fly out of there all the time so you get that one initiated i use a little scribe or a little pick and I start that and I let that thing slide down there and keep reference of where you're at because you need to you need to fall within within this uh, quarter turn area. Don't get spun around or you can. Yeah, it's fun to get that thing unhinged in the back. And you want to go into like a, a go halfway through the cycle of the key between locked and unlocked. And yank on it a couple of times. Make sure that clip is snapped in the back there. If not, your tumbler can literally fall out when you're going down the road. I've seen them come in missing one of the <laughs> one of the tumblers, and they go, "Yeah, it fell out." I didn't uh, didn't make sure it was clicked in good enough. But uh, let me get this one popped in. This is the bag with my toolkit in here. Man, that thing is heavy. That toolkit weigh that's a two ton Tessie inside there. And she is good and packed. I think I went through all the tools. I mean, that is literally a survival kit right there. Flat tires, maintenance, and whatever. And then uh, I never did put this in because in, uh, I think in 19 or 20, there's different bolt sides. There's a wrench you need to add and this little uh, socket or Allen key type thing that you need to add to it because they changed the sizes on some of those. I think after 19, I think it's what it was. So I have a kit that goes through 19 and there's a wrench and this and you need to add to it. And as you can see, I never did put it in there. That was, I don't know, when I once I discovered the kit, it changed. So anyway... Cruise tools, man. The coolest survival tool, motorcycle toolkit. I've showed you my Harley ones, too. Fantastic. Lock her down. Oh, and our, I'll show you that one thing. So you want to go half, halfway in the stroke. Yank that thing. There she is. Lock tighter than a tick. And that, was, yeah, it's the right-hand bag. Um, I leave this one unlocked until I lock it. I always leave the front one locked because let me tell you what happens when you're going down the freeway and this one is unlocked. And for some reason, you bump it and that thing comes, it's got a little safety latch, but if that thing comes open while you're cruising down the freeway 70, 80 miles an hour, I don't need to tell you what what the lid of that bag's gonna look like when you when it's done. Yeah, that thing's got a lot of surface area. If it could fly, it'd probably leave the bike. So it's gonna just wrap itself around. You ever seen a hood come up on a car when you're going down the freeway? Just put that picture in your mind. That's what's gonna happen to that bag lid. Always leave your front one locked. Even if you sneak in the front side to grab something out, have that key with you. Lock it back. Because if this comes loose, it's, it's just flapping in the wind. If it's the reverse, whoo! And that nice cupped shape of that, <laughs> of, that <laughs> of that lid 
Yeah, she'll grab some air like you've never seen. So here we are. Like I say, I got seven more to build. And there's a little tool that helps the best thing ever, these little snap-on scribes. The cornwells are pretty good too, but man, that, she's like non-focus day. That thing's got a million one uses, that cool angle it's got on it. So, uh, yeah, look at all the junk on top of this thing. Look the discoloration in the in the handles. That's like no wonder I come out here and have to dust the bikes off all the time. These bags are so old, I had to install the reflectors on them as part of that recall thing because the bags didn't come with the reflectors. Remember that when I installed all those things and went through probably 10 or 15 of those $30 snap-on bits. That's the only thing that would cut through. But look, they're, they come from the factory with a hole already in them, even though this has nothing to do with the bracket that holds the reflector. And what that reflector does, that's when you don't have the bags on. So it's got a side reflector, two of them, when the bags are not on. And when the bag's on, of course, it sits lower than this, and then the bag reflector takes over from there. Of course, we decided to come out here and do the goodbye as a plane is literally flying over our head mm -hmm. to me out cruising, checking out the beautiful sunset. It is pretty. But that, um, the 20 year meeting thing was, was really good this morning. That was pretty cool. The owner, I think, even started to get choked up just a little bit. And he made it clear, that, you know, how long we've been with him, you know. So that was pretty cool. So, geez, uh, a parts director 28 years and the gal that I thought was only a couple years longer than me she's 27 years yeah. and I'm 23 years but we're all 20 years with the Hannah Corp so oh well that's the way they do it but we all know yeah. you made it clear yeah. I was kind of hoping that and going you know it's, it's kind of bummed me a, a lot because they didn't do that until 15 is when they took all the the previous time we had yeah. Don't know why they done it. I even got a, you know, how you get your year badge every 5, 10, 15, so on. And I I got my 15-year badge um, back when I was 15 years in. And then uh, the next badge I got was, what, a 12-year 12, 12 or something. And I go and go to the owner and I go, hey, they, um, they did something wrong here. I'm... I'm farther away than this, you know. And he goes, well, they've changed it. It's still, it's since we signed and joined with the Hannah. So that's their county because it's their time, not yeah, our time, our you know, time the together. owner and us. But uh, the way corporations are, I guess. But anyway, it's a busy day at work. So busy, I didn't record nothing. Didn't have a chance to record anything. And uh, Mama seemed pretty busy upstairs as well. So uh, anyway. I think on that, as we're losing the light and uh, the breeze is blowing, now it's going to stop. Of course. But uh, anyway, appreciate you guys hanging around for the day. Mm hmm. The weekend is on us. Yes. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah. All right. We'll see you in the morning. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye.